Marcelo, so you just uh, defeated McCoy Clark earlier today. Uh, how satisfied are you with the victory tonight? I mean, I'm always satisfied with a win, man. Um, I kind of got away from my game plan today, and it was a more of an inside brawl type of fight. I kind of, I kind of fought his way this fight, but it was a good experience for me to fight in a southpaw. This is my first southpaw I ever fought, and being on the inside, fighting on the inside, like slugfesting. And, you know, it was kind of it was kind of fun, and you know, I did my thing. So I give dude credit because he took some very big blows from me. I had him hurt damn near every round, but he was a tough guy, and I give him credit. And you know, I I, I add that it's you know I want to add that experience, you know, to my building blocks to you know help me progress farther on in the future. Okay, so you fought orthodox fighters for most of your career. So like, how how much more difficult was that fighting a, a southpaw for the first time? Oh, it was very, it was weird, man. It was, his style was so, so awkward. It was just so awkward, man. And, you know, and I wanted to knock him out so bad because I seen that I was just so much stronger than him, man. Mm -hmm. It was just so weird. I kind of, I kind of, kind of figured it out, you know, a little late, you know, four rounds so short. But it was definitely, it was definitely a learning, you know, a learning thing for me, man. Like I said, man, I'm, I'm in developing process and I'm learning and, figuring out these styles now and you know and figure out what I can do and what I can't do. Absolutely. So that's your fifth victory in the cruiserweight division. You're still young in your career. But uh, I wanted to talk to you about your older brother, uh, WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder. How does he set the blueprint for you? How does he motivate you to do to have your own success in the in the division, the cruiserweight division? Oh, my brother motivates me a lot, man. He don't he don't baby me. He don't baby me. He make me earn everything that I get, man. And and he, he inspired me by telling me, you know, you know, the things that he done been through and, you know, and, and all the things that I can do and, you know, what he can see in me. And it just, it, it inspires me to see him going there and, you know, do his thing and win, you know, because that's, that's my big brother. You know, Absolutely. I've been looking up to him Absolutely. ever since I was a little boy, man. Same mom, same dad, grew up in the same room, same bump bed. So he definitely is a big inspiration to me and, you know, I'm just grateful and I thank God to be able to have a brother on top of the world and be able to, you know, yeah. surf alongside of him and, you know, and be a, a professional boxer as well. Absolutely, absolutely. So the other thing I wanted to ask you is uh, him being your big brother, him being a successful WBC heavyweight champion, like how, how proud does that make you what he's accomplished in the division? He has uh, 40 knockouts, 41 fights. Regarding the fight against Tyson Fury, he's defended the title eight times all by knockout. So like, how, how proud are you of what he's done for the division? I'm so proud of my brother for what he's done for the heavyweight division. He pretty much brought back heavyweight boxing, man, and then just see how he's just achieving and doing remarkable, legendary things, man. It just, like I said, all that motivates me and put fire in me to be able to represent that Wilder name, too, and come out here and put my heart on the line, man, and, and grind and get the win, you know, and that type of stuff, man, it just, it adds fire to my burn. All right. So I wanted to ask you about the fight against Tyson Fury. Uh, that's the only fight, you know, it was a draw. The only moment he wasn't able to get the victory or the loss. But what are your thoughts on what you saw that night? What did you think? Did you agree with the decision that it was a draw? No, I didn't agree with the draw decision. I actually had my brother up due to the two knockdowns that he had, and I felt like he was the aggressor. I felt like he was more the aggressor because it was a couple of rounds, I'd say about four or five rounds, that the only thing Tyson Fury did was play defense. I mean. You can't really score points out just playing just playing defense with no offense. You got to get around to somebody, and you have to get to the aggressor. So I kind of felt like, but all in all, I kind of felt like the two knockdowns, especially the knockdown in the 12th round. You know, I kind of felt like uh, they kind of gave Tyson a little bit more time than anybody else would have. You know. Than they do anybody else, so I, I didn't agree with the decision. But you know, it is what it is. You know, we live another day to fight another day, and um, definitely he he gonna get that rematch and show the world that you know it was a fluke. Absolutely. So he has a rematch with uh, Luis Ortiz coming in the fall. Uh, barring he does get past that fight, their plan is to have that rematch with Tyson Fury. So, what do you think it will plan out? What do you think your brother learned from that first fight? How do you think he'll make those adjustments in the second fight? What do you predict it will go down the second time around? Second time around, my brother um, facing Tyson Fury in the rematch, I definitely got my brother by KO. KO. I think this time, you know, he'll come, he's going to be a little bit more patient this time because, mm -hmm. you know, last time he was a little bit too aggressive and it kind of gave, you know, Tyson Fury, you know, you know, he kind of, he's a big, 
he's a big agile guy. And um, you know, I felt like my brother was not patient enough. And I know he, I know, and being in the ring with Deontay twice is one of the most dangerous things that you can do because he's gonna figure you out, and most definitely he's gonna fix his fix his wrongs doing that. Mm-hmm. I definitely got my brother by KO. All right, now, one of the other fights that was supposed to get made was against Anthony Joshua, but, you know, that fight did stall, and now he suffered an upset knockout against uh, Andy Ruiz. So, on your end, do you think your brother definitely still wants that fight, even though it may not have the same magnitude? Uh, do you see that fight getting made later on? Oh, yeah, most definitely, man. Most definitely. Like I said, man, my brother wants the best of the best, man. Pretty much what the fans want, he's going to give it to you. And I, I and I just think that, you know, Anthony Joshua did take a loss, but, you know, hey, man, you know, just... Being in the, in, 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 introduced to this sport of boxing, even in my short career, I understand that you know sometimes you can't have a you can have you can't have an all night, and if you overlook opponent by looking at their record, man, it can kind of sneak up on you, man. Like really in this sport, you can't overlook nobody because you know they're a grown man in there and they got, they got fists like you. Yeah. So I kind of look at I think I think Joshua bounced back, and I think that 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 fighter definitely build up again and um, most definitely I think my brother will definitely face him in the future. All right, Marcelo. Well, I do appreciate your time. I wish you all the best of luck in the Cruiserweight division. Uh, a shout out to all the fans, everybody that follows you, the, the Wilder Brothers. Uh, thank you so much, man. Uh, to all my fans and to all the fans who's on the edge with me, man. Uh, just be patient for me, man. Uh, no excuses. I started this sport late, man, and I'm grinding and I'm coming. And just, just you know, stay patient for me. And, um, you can follow me at, on our Instagram at Wilder World Two, the number two, Wilder World Two, man. I appreciate y'all and I love all y'all. Thanks, Marcelo. Thank you.